welcome back. It has been a while. I hope everybody's doing well and surviving still the pandemic, but it seems to be things are moving along. Today, we're doing canned squash pickles. If you have a garden, you know you're getting a lot of, a lot of squash these days, and what to do with it? A pickle. It is so, so good. I never, ever thought that I would be eating squashed, squash pickles, but they're delicious just delicious. Okay, what you want to start? You want to have four squash, yellow squash, either from the store or from your garden. You want to peel it, peel it lightly. Um, just get the outside peeling off, make it nice and clean. And then you want to cut it. Cut it in half. And take out the seeds. You can use a spoon, you can use your finger. But you want to take the seeds out. So you're going to do this with all four of your squash. Okay. It's going to look like this. You just have a hollow piece of squash. Okay. So when we're all done cleaning them, what you want to do is cut them in about half inch pieces. So you just go down, slice them, slice them and dice them. And if they're bigger or smaller, you know, it doesn't matter, okay? So what I want you to do is take all of your squash, clean them, peel them, scoop out the seeds, clean them. When you're done, we'll get back to you. Okay, so your squash is all cut. I have this much, okay? You can see they're nice little bite-sized pieces. So now you want to take one onion, slice it. The onion is just as good pickled as the squash is. It is. It's very, very good. Now I slice and then I cut these in half just so that there isn't a whole, whole bunch of real big pieces. So, you want to do that to both sides. Okay. Okay, so you have that ready. Now, what you need to do is you got to you should get four canning jars. The half pints half pint size or pint size, whichever you want to use. And if you're going to use the half pints, you want about four or five, um, so the ones I use, half pint. Okay, or pint, this is a pint size. Okay. You want to wash them real good and then put them in your oven. If you can see mine in the oven. Oh, I keep picking that up. <laughs> it's hot. You want to make them hot, put them, wash them, rinse them, put them in your oven so that they're hot. You don't want to pick them up with your hands. Okay, so do that. Cut your onions and clean and wash your jars and put them in the oven. And your lids, what I do is I put my lids in some water. And you just put them on low, and because you don't want them to boil, boil. You just want to put them on low to get them real hot. So, let's get that all together, and then we'll work on the juice when we come back. Okay, so your onions are sliced. Your squash is all cut and clean and sliced. So what we're going to do now is make our juice. What you want to do is four cups of water. Two cups of sugar, yeah, it is a little sweet, but it is pickled. Two cups of cider vinegar. And then you want a teaspoon each of turmeric, ginger, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of dry mustard, and put that all in here. Now, you want to bring this to a boil. So you're gonna do that. When it comes to a boil, you're going to dump in all of your uh, onions and your cut up squash. And you're going to let them 
simmer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. As soon as you're done with that, we'll be back. Okay, so don't forget to stir this real good. Make sure everything is mixed together. And then, again, once it comes to a boil, you put all your stuff in. It's not really a simmer. It is a light boil. Leave, keep it boiling 10 minutes. Just wanted to make sure you understood. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to show you. There's all of my onions and my squash in the pot looks pretty good in the meantime so once it starts to boil again you'll set your timer for 10 minutes in the meantime you want to get your canning pot ready I filled, filled it with water my thing in there my rack and after this is done boiling for 10 minutes we'll get back okay everything has boiled everything is ready to go so you want to bring out, uh, do two jars at a time, just to make sure, and don't forget, you're not touching these jars, because they're hot. Okay, let me see, we'll put them here so you can see. Okay, put your little funnel in. And what you want to do is scoop out Put it in there. And you have to make sure your towel is clean so you can pick up the remnants that you dropped. So you want to fill them up. That probably has a little too many. Okay. Because we're going to have to keep room to add some juice. Do spill a lot. My towel is clean now. Okay, we're going to take some from there. And yes, those are very hot. Okay, so what we're going to do is take some of the juice. And we want to fill them with the juice. So we're going to keep it uh, to about a quarter inch from the top. Okay. So there. So those are done. You want to take your paper towel and you want to wipe across the top of each one to make sure that it's nice and dry. Take a lid out. Take your bands and you tighten them. Okay, so you're going to do this until you don't have any left. So you might have, you know, three, four jars. I don't know how many you're going to get. So what you're going to do is you're going to put them in the canner. Just make sure you're going to let them boil once the canning starts to boil then you want them to boil for 10 minutes. Once at once, It takes a while for it to start boiling. So once it boils, take these, put them in there. Once it boils, set your timer 10 minutes. So just finish that up, and then we'll be back. Okay, instead of using, if you don't want to do it separately and using the scoop, you can just scoop it out with a pan juice and ingredients okay do it one step instead of two that might make it easier okay finish up I'll be back when you put all your jars in your canning pot make sure that your water over your jars is at least an inch higher than your jars so that they don't boil out okay just a little you know, thing there <laughs> okay all done there you go i have five jars of them oh they're just so good actually i'm having a little snack from some from last summer mm, very good very good so just wait for the little lids to pop once they pop then you're ready to go you can 
store them in a cool place in the basement or wherever. But don't forget to bring them out when you have company or just a snack. Like I said, I'm snacking. It is very good. So I'm real glad that you joined me today. I miss doing this. You know, it's been a while. Um, I'm going to have another one next week because it's a 4th of July weekend and I'm making a dessert. It's a cake. So I will see you next week. In the meantime, be safe. Wear your masks. The six foot uh, social distancing. Still do it. It's what can I say? It's still dangerous a little bit out there. Just, you know, you got you just got to be careful. So, hopefully, not hopefully we will. <laughs> See you next week for 4th of July. Have a good day and God bless America.